Rebecca. Um, we're super excited always to get on the calls like this. Remember the reason why we connect every Thursday our success series is to help motivate the field, is to help show you that it is doable. You too can do it. And then to also give you the platform where you can learn from leaders who are doing it and doing it successfully. Now, this is a business that you can start today and tomorrow we will be celebrating all of your hard work on different platforms from regional to global if you're ready to put in the work. And here is a platform where we are helping you to be able to achieve that growth that you desire and see your team and yourself you know, grow into success. So we're always excited to get on this business um, success series. My name, again, is Blessing Eze Tobano Wu, um, Edge Business Development. I'm always, always humbled to serve you, my amazing partners in Africa. You are the reason. Remember, you're the reason. And on the call I have with me, my amazing colleague, Neil Nsunye. <laughs> Hello, Blessing. Thank you so much. Hi. Good evening, Hi. everybody. I'm going to be very short, just as Blessing has uh, introduced me. I am Neo Antunia, working together with Blessing. And as she has also said that we are here to serve the field. We are looking forward to collaborations with the field. And the ultimate goal is growth, growth, growth in 2024. We have the amazing Brand Palmer on the call with us this evening to come and give us some motivation to show us how it's done. It's such an honor to be in a company where you can actually rub shoulders and have an opportunity to have such meetings with amazing top leaders in the company. Thank you so much for your time and being with the call with the Africa region today, Brent. We, we appreciate it. Neil, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Neil. And so, I know a lot of you are used to coach Brent Palmer, but allow me to give him the honor of introducing him to the field. Because I know some of you might just be on the call and you have not am met this amazing man. He's a coach, he's a sport coach, but he's also a life coach. And I can tell you, I have been tapping from all of his coaching skills. He's been coaching me unintentionally without knowing all of these years. And I've learned so much from him. Now he's a family man. He's an entrepreneur. He's a global team builder. And he's been building. And let me tell you what is so important to us is that he's been a great support to us in partner for Africa, even before the inception. And he's always been there supporting us on our journey to growth and expansion. And here he is again on this call, still providing that support to share with us some amazing thoughts and strategies, how we can also alleviate and also achieve growth and success in 2024. You're welcome, Coach. Blessing, thank you so much. You and Neo, I, it's amazing. Thank you for your leadership, what you do on the ground in Africa. And it's just a, Absolute pleasure. And I want to tell everybody if you're if this is the first time that I've been on and 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 I've seen you for the first time, I want everybody to know that the last time I spoke for Africa, I had I had hair on my head. And just so everybody knows, I wanted to be more like Nick. And so to get kind of the vibe going, Nick Papas, I shaved my head so I could be more like Anthony and Nick. Um and <laughs> that's my attempt for humor. So uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be on here. It's always a pleasure to speak. And um, I want to talk to you just really briefly about two different areas. One is I spoke this morning on opportunity. And I don't have to tell you about opportunity because you're seeking opportunity. You're running with opportunity. So when I share this with you, this little segment, I want you to know I'm applauding you. I'm, I'm, I'm applauding you for 
seeking opportunity even when you don't know what the end of the road looks like. You don't know the curves. You don't know the twist. And I shared this morning with a group of people all around the world that when you look at opportunity from successful people, um, they realize that, that success comes from seeking and taking part of advantages of opportunities, getting to be the first in. There's huge advantage. And you know that. You've been working in that in Africa, so I applaud you. I'm not coaching you. I'm applauding you. And, and you know, some people even say, you know, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, right, but you don't know how or why or how you're going to do it at it, still say yes to it and find ways to figure it out. And I thought about it, blessing, in my own life. Um, I'm going to give you two examples. One is in many years ago, I had an opportunity to invest in Bitcoin. The opportunity came to me when it was $5 a coin. And I didn't understand it. I didn't know what it was. So I could have easily said no. Luckily, I understood if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, even if you don't understand it, say yes, and then figure it out. And so today, Bitcoin is almost to surpass $53,000 a coin. Years ago, I had the opportunity at $5 a coin. But on the same token, I had the opportunity to get exposed to network marketing in 1994 with a company that I did not make a dime in. I was not good at, but it was my first vision of the power of network marketing, the power of the industry, the power of leverage. And so even though I didn't understand it, I said yes to it. And as I was trying to figure it out with epic failures, I still learned from that experience. So sometimes opportunities are great, like Bitcoin, and you invested. And sometimes it's not so great. And I joined network marketing in 1994, and I never made a dime. But I learned on both sides. And so after 2008, 2009, I got back into network marketing, and it changed my life forever. It changed my finances forever. And it give me something that I can leave to my kids once I depart this world. And for me, that is why I do what I do. It's, 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 it's to leave something for the people after I'm gone. And so I share that with you on opportunity because I applaud you. That's what you're doing in Africa. Not only are you building Africa, but somebody like Yolandi is building a brand that will venture way past Africa. It'll build the love of her country, but it'll our countries, but it will also expand internationally to other countries around the world. And so not only do I applaud her, Nick Pappas, I could go around the room. I applaud you for what you're doing. You said yes to the opportunity. You're figuring it out in all the curves, the bumps, the hills. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to opportunity, most people say no. Because it comes disguised in hard work, perseverance. Um, uh, maybe it, it's going to cost me money. Maybe it's going to cost me time. Maybe I'm having to pave the road. And so, but for the people that do and they figure out a way, great wealth will be created and you're doing it. Um, so congratulations. Um, I want to share, I don't know if I'm co-host. I want to screen share something yes, with you. Yes, you are. 
can. Okay. So I want to share something I shared uh, recently on what I believe if you do what I'm about to show you in your business with your teams in Africa, as it expands around the world, if you're check marking, do I do this? I think this would be very important for you. Um, it's 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 the art of leadership from a coach's perspective. Nick Pappas, you're a coach. It's a coach's perspective, and a lot of times as a coach, I got to be able to check mark off: Am I doing this in my program? Am I doing this in my team to be successful? So number one. I got to start with the end in mind. So as Yolandi and other leaders in Africa are working daily, doing videos, prospecting, Nick's doing his thing, you all are doing your thing, you got to be doing that with an end goal of mind. What does the end goal look like when Africa and all the countries of Africa and it's leaked over into Australia and Europe and all these other places what does it look like when you're winning championships? What does it look like when Partner Co. is blanketed around the world and they're in your organization? See, I believe step one is you have to start this from a leadership with, with a championship mentality. When I was a coach, my players did not want to hear from a coach that didn't believe he or she was going to win championships. So people don't want to hear from us as if, are we going to build Africa? Is it going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Here's what they want to hear. We're going to win championships in Africa. We're going to build Africa to amazing depths. And here's what it looks like when we get it built. Do you want to be a part of it? See, I believe you got to have the championship mind, the end in mind when you're presenting, even when you're just getting started. Step two is you got to build a dream team. Like you, you got to build a dream team. Like, what does that mean? I've got to be out right now because it's a new market and I've got to be recruiting customers and brand partners every day. Just yesterday, I got to tell you what happened to me yesterday. So just yesterday, We've got a red hot event coming up in, in the United States. And so I'm Nick, I'm trying to like, I don't have anything red. So I'm trying to go, I got to buy me a red suit. And the lady I'm in the dressing room, the lady that owns the store says, what do you do for a living? Now for me, it doesn't matter the product, but I said, I sell skinny drops all over the world. And she said, can I lock down that spot right here? And I said, absolutely you can. Now I'm in a dressing room and she's outside. Thank goodness. Not in there with me. And, and I come out and she says, I want to get started. How do I get started? I want to be the first here. And I signed a brand partner just by simply saying, what do you do? I sell skinny drops all over the world, but see, that's a championship mind. Have I, have I sold skinny drops all over the world? Not today. Is the championship mentality screaming to the world? I sell it all over the world because I see myself doing it. But I'm also building a dream team because here's the thing. I enrolled her as a brand partner yesterday. I'm surrounding myself with people that want to do this. I'm not, I'm not here to debate. I'm not here to convince. I'm not here to, if you said network marketing is not real, partner co won't be in Africa. I don't care what someone says. I'm here to tell you, do you want to be a part of this dream team? If you do, this team, we're winners. We win. We persevere. We fight through adversity together. 
And so I'm constantly in this create and build everywhere I go. And what I've learned is if I'm building a dream team, consistency creates credibility long term. So if I want to be credible, if I want to be credible in this industry, I got to do something every day. I got to be in create and build mode every day. What does that look like? I'm prospecting new people every day. I'm enrolling customers every day. I'm enrolling brand partners as close to every day as I can, which means I've got to talk to a lot of people. I don't go a week and go, you know what? I haven't, I haven't done anything this week. I haven't brought in any customers. I haven't brought in any brand partners. And I'm going to stop right there for just a second because I want you to know my 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 a little bit of my story. I was a coach and I was a teacher when I found network marketing. I had no money. I've got kids, I've got adopted kids. And I had no money. I was living paycheck to paycheck. And I was tired of that. And I got involved. And I did not know what I was doing. I did not know the industry. But I knew I was born to win. I knew I was born like, like, and I want to give you a little something. My father had done very well for himself. And maybe this hits home to some of you. My father had done very well financially for himself. And so if people looked at me, they would have said, well, Brent is financially good. Okay. Because of my father. But what Brent, what they didn't know is Brent had never financially done something good on his own shoulders with his own hard work. Does that make sense, Nick? And so Brent was after something he could call his own. Something that I could say, I did this. This is something I built with other people. And so for me, it, it, it you never know what a person's after. You know? And so this industry, this, this network marketing changed my life, but it changed my life by me saying, I'm going to get in and I'm going to stay consistent daily and let the days turn to weeks and the weeks turn to months, but I will not quit ever because I know I'm taking good products for my body and I'm building something that is mine. I'm building something that I can put my stamp on saying I helped create with a lot of amazing people. So I'm building my dream team. Step three is I got to craft a winning play. What's your winning play right now? And here's what I mean by that. How are you getting people started? And how are you getting them paid? How are you moving them along the pin ranks? I have people all the time that tell me our products are too don't have enough PV. And then I have people that tell me our products are too expensive. Our PV is too high. And I'm like, okay, that's two sides of the equation. What are you doing with what you have to build it? Right? And so I, I with what I have in the different areas, am I building in Mexico? Am I building in Australia? Am I building in Africa? Am I building in the United States? I got to find out what they have and I've got to craft my play around what they have and run with it. And so figure out how to get someone started, how to get them paid and how to move them along the pin ranks. Right. And guess who that is, whose job that is to craft the winning play. Mine. It's my job. I, I have to figure out the play for the U.S., for my team. I is, is there other people in the U.S. running a different play than me? Absolutely. It's okay. We're still building Partner Co. But Brent Palmer's running his play for his organization 
in the U.S. or in Mexico or in South America or in Africa. Like, so craft the winning play. And step four is I've got to get in the huddle. Now, Nick Pappas was a coach. Everybody has a huddle. A huddle is surrounding your people, right? Like you're 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 in a huddle, you're putting your hand in the middle, you're breaking it. Like, so I gotta get in the huddle. Anthony Moreland coaches all the time on plugging in, right? I have people every day that's like, Bren, I, I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, well, are you plugged into here, 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 here? And they're like, I'm not plugged in. And I'm like, get in the huddle. It's a voluntary army. We can't make you get into the huddle. See, you're here this morning. You're here tonight. 7 p.m. in SA. Why is everybody not here? I don't know. They're not in the huddle. Our job is to get them in the huddle. Because when they're in the huddle, they experience community. They experience the power of networking. They experience people that they can lean on and share ideas. But we got to get into the huddle. And the huddle means team Zooms, local events, um, regional events, corporate events. And here's what I'll say. For a market that is trying to make a move, then a lot of times, you know where that falls? On our back. This next weekend, I'm putting on a really big event. It fell on my back. On our back, I should say, not my back. Um, two weeks ago, I was at another place doing a Saturday event, constantly doing events. So find ways to get people in the huddle. And then the last one, celebrate the wins. Celebrate the wins. So what does that look like? Like there's, I, I, if you're taking notes and you want to know the simplicity of our industry, it's, it's, it's in three things, events, tools, and recognition. Are you having events in, in your market led by your people? You can never get to the big money of our industry by not. You've got to have events. Number two, you got to look at your people and go, what tools, what tools do they need to win? And how do I get that for them? It's my responsibility. Okay? You understand, like, is the tool a roadmap to success? Is a tool you get in and you get three people and this is the amount of money you make? Like, what tools do my people need? And then it's up to me to create those tools. And then the last thing is we can never recognize enough. I fail every day on recognition. Why? Because I never can recognize enough. I have a team of people I pay to recognize. We don't recognize enough. I'm constantly posting recognition on Facebook. It's not enough. In Panama City in the United States next week, I will... I, I've ordered all this, we've ordered all this recognition for people. It will It will not be enough. You can never recognize your people enough. Anthony Moreland does an amazing job with recognition. Somebody sells one box of something, he recognizes them. Someone enrolls a brand partner, he recognizes them. Someone does a prospect Zoom with him, he recognizes them. People want to be seen, they want to be heard, and they want to be congratulated. We must celebrate the wins, the little bitty wins. Because as a coach, when you string little wins together, like Neo, 
I, I stalk her Facebook. And over the last year, she has strung little wins together in her own health journey. And it's created amazing results. And I've watched her do that from, from behind the scenes. And she probably never knew I was watching her. So the that's a lesson to all of us that people are watching. People are watching Yolandi's videos and her reels. People are watching Nick Pappas go vice president in the company. People are watching, 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 and they might not respond for a year that they want to do this with us. But if I'm consistent and I'm doing events and I'm getting my people the tools they need and I am recognizing like crazy, people are going to, people are going to see it. And we can never recognize people enough and congratulate them and brag on them. And so I just want to say to you and I, and, and, and blessing if you have anything, because I, I got to brag a little bit on Africa. Okay. Just since I got the floor here, I got the mic, I got, I got the microphone. Okay. I don't always get to see you every day and I don't always get to comment and, 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 um, tell you how proud I am of you. Um, but I've watched Blessing and Neo from the corporate side be a part of this Africa movement in the face of difficulty, in the face of adversity. I've watched them stand in the void, in the gap, and stand strong. And I see them today as huge ambassadors of Partner Co. in Africa. And I want to say thank you. But I also see our Partners Council member, members. I see Yolandi and Nick Pappas. Yolandi and Nick has stood in the void and just continue to march. You know, I, I I think I I think of all of the areas, and I could go around the room, like I could go around the room and 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 um and talk about people of how you continue to persevere, how you continue to do things, and I'm just so proud of you because the skills you're learning. Like if Yolandi stopped today, the skills she's learned through her reels, through her stories, through what she shares every day will live with her for years and years and years to come. Great growth in that lady. But I look at Nick Pappas that came here through another company, through another company, through another company, and he just continues to change the hat of ownership and say, I will consistently continue to step and step and step. And, you know, I, I know we're on and I know blessing you're in Nigeria. And, and I look across that market and I see so many people that, that continues to just fight and continue the good faith and continue believing. And, um, I'm just super encouraged by your effort because to me, you're a true champion. You're a leader. You all are leaders, you're champions, you're warriors. And um, the, 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 the good fight is being won by you. And, and I had a few other, um, Anthony, is any of your amazing people here? I don't know if you can unmute. I'm looking. I'm trying to look if you see my eyes. So I just want to tell you this. It's okay if not. Um, 
I didn't know if Emma was here. Any, I wanted to give a big shout out because he yeah. just continues. Emma, to Emma's see. here. Dr. Charles is here. Yep. Yeah. They're here. I, I just see what you do. And I know it comes with adversity. Um, but again, remember what I said when I started this, and I know I'm out of time. Success is about taking advantage of opportunity when no one else has yet. No one else has partner co in your great land other than you. It's gonna it's disguised. And you all have embraced the hard work. You've all have embraced the difficulty that most people will never embrace because it comes so challenging. And we want everybody to embrace it, but they won't just like everybody didn't embrace Bitcoin at $5 and today it's 53,000. Um, I'm proud of you. And I just wanted to say that as I ended today and I'll take blessing, any questions you got, keep the good fight. Know this. I love each and every one of you, even the days or the weeks that I don't get to talk to you. I promise I'm not just sitting around filing my fingernails. Uh, it's it's busy. It's a lot. It's busy. And I really feel bad when I don't get to follow up or talk to everybody every day. But I see what you do. Uh, I'm proud of you. And you're a warrior. So thank you. Thank you for your partnership. So blessings. I'll turn it back to you. And, and if there's anything else, you got any questions, I'll be glad to answer. But uh, thank you for having me. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the amazing um, steps you've just shared with us. And I celebrate all of our partners on the call because I remember when we started this year with the Connect call and um, we did 2003 in review and a lot of you came to me saying, wow, a lot of things is happening in partner call, but Africa will be on the map in 2024. That was a championship mentality. You were ready to do the work. You're getting into the orders and you're ready to do the work. So I celebrate all the little wins and um, celebrating all those little wins. I can't but celebrate Nick and Yulandi who have, you know, um, advanced to vice president. Congratulations once again. I know we've already as corporate sent out those congratulations, but congratulations for all your hard work. Congratulations to your team that helped to, you to achieve um, this success. And so we'll take um, a few minutes to take some questions. I know I've seen some person sent me messages for questions. So please let us um, have those questions. In the case, if you have a question, please. Um, Lizelle had a question. I know she chatted me on that. Lizelle, could you please go ahead with your question while we wait for others? Please put the questions in the chat box and Nia and I will read them out. Lizelle, are you still on the call? Please go ahead with your question. Okay, I see on the chat box, she has written something blessing. Okay. She says, blessing on recognition. I have a question, please. When there is an opportunity, I will, oh, she's just saying she will type, but she hasn't. Lizelle? Okay. Can we wait for Lizelle? Wait, we, while we wait for Lizelle, I see there's also a question from Yolandi. Um, it's not a question. Um, looks like that we don't have any questions. I think uh, Yolandi has a question there. Yolandi said, um, Coach, how do you do your follow-up? Um, what is that? How do you I do said... your follow-up process, days plus tracking? Mm -hmm. Yes, so I, I'll share this. Something I learned a long time ago from my mentor was the fortune and we hear it a lot, the fortunes in the follow-up. And so for my customers, I always, I, I keep it very simple, something that I can easily do. I 
as soon as I enroll a customer uh, or I sell to a customer directly, I always put a follow up in my phone, in my contacts, in my in my in my calendar for two weeks. And I know in two weeks, I'm going to follow up with that customer. Now, sometimes I'll do it in a week. But within two weeks, I'm definitely going to follow back up with that customer. And anytime a customer gets a win on our products, whether that's the hero line, the Tahitian, Tahitian Noni, whatever it is, as soon as they get that win, then I tell them, you can continue getting it as a customer from me, but I would love to get you on a call and show you how you like can get discounts and other perks with our company. And at that point, that's where I introduce them to what I call a membership, a one time, they never pay it again, membership within our company that opens you up to all of our products, that opens you up to the entire portfolio and that's my first introduction of converting a customer to a brand partner. So I do that. I have that embedded in my play. And, and so you would have to figure out, you know, how to embed that into your play and to teach people. The second thing is um, I've conditioned myself to realize that every 90 days, major events happen in people's lives. Think about you 90 days ago. How much has changed in your life in 90 days? Your body. Some of you have had major wins in your body in the last 90 days. Some of you have taken a fallback in the last 90 days in your body. Right? So it can go either way. So what, the reason I tell you that is I revisit my list of people to talk to every 90 days. So if I talk to Gavin... 90 day, and he says no, no's not forever. I set a reminder in my calendar, 90 days later, I will check back with Gavin. I go to my calendar three months down the road. I put call Gavin. And I follow back up with him, check in on him, ask him how life's going, how's the family, because I know that 90 days later, Gavin might have put on weight. Gavin might have lost his job. Gavin might have experienced something in life that now changes his mindset of doing this company, this opportunity. So that's another thing I do as far as tracking metrics. And then there's a lot of things out there. There's a lot of software programs that when you have a lot of organization and a lot of workflow that you can do pipeline funnels, you can do uh, a lot of different things where you can track people. Um, uh, Trello board is another good one, you know, to where you can track and keep up with all of your uh, prospecting and how many times you prospect them or how many times you followed up with them. And it keeps you organized. So I hope that helps you, Lundy. Thank you so much, Coach. Um, Yolandi gives that thumbs up. It really helps. And I think you've answered the other question that Yolandi yes. just put in the chat box. Um, what calendar coach uses yeah. for follow-up? So I have an Apple iPhone. And so it's just, I, as you can see, you can see all of my, my stuff for today. Uh, this, like, yeah. So I just, I track everything where it's right on my phone. So if you do have an, an iPhone, I just use the calendar feature of the iPhone. I'm very simple, but I do have a group that uses Trello board. I'm definitely not like the coach of the Trello board, but I do use Trello board and it tracks my customers, my brand partners, how close they are to ultimate. Like, and you got to understand for me, like since, since, 2013, this has been a million dollar a year business for me. So it's very serious, multiple millions. So I treat it like a massive business, right? Because it is a massive business. And so one of the things, and I'm so glad Yolandi said it, as your business grows and as it gets bigger, like 
so does your um, tracking. Your tracking should be professional. Your tracking should be treating it like a million dollar business. And that's why the world doesn't like us. Like, I just got to say this, like the reason the world does not like us. And when I say the world, like the major corporations, because we really have something unique in networking. If I put blessings in as a customer, Partner Co. will pay me for the rest of Blessings customer life inside of Partner Co. I literally introduced her one time, and as long as she's a customer in Partner Co., I will always generate a revenue off of that. And so the rest of the world does not know how to respond to that. Like, what does that do? That takes blessing away from buying nutritional products from major corporations. And those major corporations are not big fans of that, right? Sure. And so we have something so beautiful. When you think about, if I put Nick Pappas in the business, I will be paid a percentage of his orders every single month for the life of his contributions to partner co on a, on, on the consumer side. And you, and when you start to think about that, you're like, Oh my goodness. So where can I build Nigeria, Southern Africa, like other parts of Africa, like Australia, United States, like we have a global franchise sitting in our hands to go share with the world. And we will be paid for the life of that person purchasing from our company. It's an amazing opportunity. It is an amazing opportunity, um, a lifetime opportunity for you to just keep reaping from the efforts that you put in into the business. Um, one life at a time, introducing the business to one person and then a generation is blessed from just that one opportunity. That's the kind of business we're into. Thank you so much, Coach, for sharing all of these amazing tips and strategies. Um, value, value, yes, that's what we have received this evening. And yeah, it's an opportunity for you to run with all of this. It's not enough that you've gotten on this call, you've learned. Please take each of those principles and begin to apply them daily. Remember what Coach said, daily action, consistency. You know, it's your roadmap to get into success. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think some persons are asking for the presentation. Um, Coach will be willing to share that with you. He'll get back to you. I don't know. Let me not speak on behalf of Coach. <laughs> Absolutely. Whoever's over this call, we'll get the recording out. I think. All right. Definitely. We would get the recording out um, to everyone on this call. Thank you so much. Powerful, powerful. Thank you to all of our partners who are on this call. You're simply amazing. We would not ask for a better partnership than what we have with you. And to our leaders, our partner council members in South Africa, Nick Papas, Henri Powell, and Yolande, and our partner council members in Nigeria, Dr. Charles Arimosele, Michelle Ogu, Ima Ewuzie, and also to our Jiri, amazing thank you for your partnership thank you for your support remember that we've just started the year there's so much that we're out to achieve this year especially with our championship mindset and applying all of the principles we're learning here thank you thank you so much any final word for the team coach yes my final parting words is just continue you you all are champions you all have grabbed something that a lot of people would let the opportunity pass because it's disguised as work, hard work, uncertainty, your warrior spirit, the growth that you're learning how to make this thing happen is going to pay you for years and years to come. We're going to make a lot of money here for a lot of people. We're going to build something that's going to last long term. And we just value your partnership and know this every day, every day we're thinking of you every day we're praying for you. And, um, 
hopefully when you get off this call, what you'll hear and feel is there's heart, there's love. And I believe when you have heart and love, you know, it, 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 the destination is a great place. We're headed for a great place. So thank you. Thank you so much, Coach. Yes, yes, yes. We're headed for a great place. Um, welcome on board to all of our new brand partners who have just joined the call. Neo and I cannot wait to connect with you. We look forward to helping you on your journey to grow. Thank you to our team in Africa. Um, not just Neo and I, there are those who are behind the scenes doing all this work to ensure that you know this calls are successful and we're experiencing the kind of growth that we want to see. Thank you to our team in Africa. We appreciate everyone. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you. Thank you, coach.